Bill McGee is here, senior fellow for aviation at the American Economic Liberties Project. Bill, I, I guess we start at the beginning. This really all comes down to money, right? That the airlines it's, they have air conditioners and they've got jet engines to run to run air conditioners when we're all on the planes, but it's expensive and they'd rather not. Well, I think you summed it up pretty well. Yes. I mean, the, the fact is that um, when we're talking about temperatures that are in the high 80s and 90s and even triple digits, as we've seen recently, that's simply unacceptable. Yeah, we, we heard all the time from Secretary Buttigieg about all the things he's going to do for passengers. There's this website uh, that basically tells you, you know, whether or not you have to pay to check a bag and if you can sit next to your family member or something. But uh, as I think about what's happening here, uh, <laughs> There, there's two competing interests right now because the airlines love saying, and I guess Buttigieg is a way of giving an, an excuse here, because the airlines love to say, hey, look, we don't want to run the engines or both engines when we're on the ground or the auxiliary power unit because it burns more fossil fuels. We're just trying to be carbon neutral, protect the environment here. The airlines get to hide behind that, save money. And I, interestingly enough, when you know it got to be 100 degrees on a Delta flight for three hours, Buttigieg didn't come out and say I, they could mandate it pretty easily. You got to run air conditioners. Well, the bottom line is, uh, again, we need to have some standards here. There has to be a policy. I mean, I've, I've found this time and again. If you request that the airlines do something, if you ask that the airlines do something, they're simply not going to do it, not, not individually and not as an industry. And so it's going to be incumbent on DOT, as I said, to set some standards. Um, the, you don't, sound, you don't sound hopeful. No, I, I am, I am uh, more hopeful than I was this time last year, I'll tell you. Um, look, I've been very critical of Secretary Buttigieg uh, in the past. In recent months, he's taken some steps that, that, has, that have impressed me, quite frankly. Um, okay. One thing he did was come out against the Spirit Jet Blue merger. That's without precedent. We haven't had a DOT secretary ever come out against any merger. And I would argue, and I would argue at length, that consolidation within the industry is one of the biggest problems here. It's sort of one of the original sins. Yeah, no, 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 look. No argument here. Um, mm -hmm. the, the less choices we have as consumers, the harder it is to pick an airline uh, that's going to do but right by its passengers. It's pretty. It's pretty simple. Um, Delta Airlines has a has a new uh, person to help with all of this, and is evidently going to make flying better for all of us. Somebody who does not fly commercial very often. Uh, Tom Brady is going to uh, now help. You can see him there getting on and off. Uh, some of the multiple private jets, including the Patriots private jet. Here he is on MSNBC talking. Take a listen. A lot of that teamwork comes from, you know, it, I always believe it always starts at the top. And I've been part of organizations that have great leadership, that, uh, that, that great, give great information to, to the people, that can inspire the, the athletes to maximize their opportunity and their potential. So I think, you know, for me to, to, to live this in a different way and to join a different team is really fun for me. I mean, do I, does Delta think we're all a bunch of fools? You know, if this was uh, another another error in the industry, I might make a joke and roll my eyes and say, "Oh well, you know, okay, fine. A football quarterback is going to is going to um, you know help steer an airline." Um, the fact is, uh, I, I'm really quite angry by it. I have to be honest with you. I've been around this industry for 38 years. I worked in the airlines. I've written about the airlines. I've advocated for competition and, and consumers for decades now, since 1985. And we are in an awful state with this industry. And I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Yeah. Customer service is at an all-time low. Is that my opinion? No, that's not Bill McGee speaking. That's the DOT's own statistics on consumer complaints, delays, cancellations. The big four airlines in this country have an oligopoly, American Delta, United, and Southwest. And they act like an oligopoly. They act in lockstep on fares when they compete with each other. And they, their customer service has never been at a lower level. The idea that we're going to go out, I have nothing against Mr. Brady personally, uh, but the idea that we're going to go out and we're going to get a quarterback, you know, to, to, to speak in corporate ease about teamwork and leadership and winning. Look, we know he's a fantastic quarterback and he's won more Super Bowls than any other quarterback. What does that have to do with running an airline? This is a complex industry and we need real experts to, to turn it around. And, 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 and as I said, I mean, at another time, it might have been fodder for a cartoon. Yeah, it might have been kind of funny. Oh, yeah, look, it's, at this like, point, it's not, you know. Yeah. Well, it's also it's insulting to all of us who who sit there through the delays and everything else, and somehow we're we're made to feel better because Tom Brady has told us that flying Delta is a uh, a good thing. All right, uh, Bill, it was good chatting. I really appreciate it, and it's always nice to hear somebody who was once a critic who's willing to come out and call balls and strikes uh, as they see it. Uh, we appreciate that. Thank you.
Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.